Welcome back. In this video, we learn about the concept named as data modeling in Power BI. Now, data modeling is a separate topic which can be taken inside Power Pivot and based on that, we write some DAX functions. So, let us learn about the data modeling topic here. Now, when I started data modeling, learning about the topic over there initially in my career, so I used to get scared because the name is data modeling, what would be there inside that and many things used to come in my mind. But when I started understanding and what I came to a conclusion, data modeling is a simple concept here. In simple language, if you want multiple tables, it can be from same data source or multiple data source. If you want multiple tables to communicate with each other, you can create relationship between them and then create some table or some output from there. So that concept is known as a data modeling. Okay. Now in other tools also data modeling can be done like in Excel, SQL and other languages. But here in Power BI, it is very, very easy using Power Pivot tool. So in Power Pivot, you can just use drag and drop and create relationship between the tables here. So let us understand. Now Power Pivot topic is very old topic. It's not a new topic in Power BI. This topic is already there in our Excel file from last 12 years. Okay, from last 12 years it is there, but we never explored this particular topic here. So what we'll do is we'll first see that topic in Excel and then try to open inside Power BI. In India, we try to say that Nay packet mein beche tumko cheese purani. Okay, Nay packet mein beche tumko cheese purani. That means in a new packet, you get an old product in that. Same way, Power Pivot is an old product which is already available in Excel from last 12 13 years. From 2010 onwards in Excel, it was there. But we never used that topic. Okay, so we never used the Power Pivot in Excel. Now, when the Power BI has come, we started realizing, we started understanding Power Pivot inside Power BI. But this is already present in Excel from many, many years. Let me show you first in Excel, then we can take it inside the Power BI. So here I'll open the Excel file first of all. And now this is a simple plain Excel file. Nothing is given here. Now, if I want to bring the Power Pivot add-in inside Excel, I can go to File menu bar and here is the options at the bottom. From here, if you see the add-ins I'll be getting, at the bottom, I can select the COM add-ins and click on go button here. So in the COM add-ins, I can just open this power pivot, which is an add-in and I can click on OK. So here, if you observe on the top, I have the power pivot add-in, which is available now. So if you do not have, you can use the same method, which I've done and you can bring that model here. Now, what should I do with this power pivot add-in? First of all, we need some data. We are learning our data modeling topic. We need data. Then only we can do a data modeling part. So let me show you some data. We will try to create relationship between them. Let's see that. So I'll open a folder and you can see the data is there on my screen. Now this data is of some company where they have separated the data sets into different files. Now some are the Excel files, some are CSV files. You can see comma separated and the Excel workbook. Now what I want is without opening those files. Remember without opening those files, if I want to create relationship between them, how do I do that? Okay, let's see that example. So first thing, I will open the products file and I'll open the sales file here. So I want to find out which product, how much quantity has been sold or which product, what is the price, some details about it. So first of all, let me open the file. I'll open the products file and here I'll open the sales file here. So now in the sales file and the products files, carefully observe, I'll just expand this data set, this table over here. So I've expanded the data here. Now if you observe in both the tables, we have a common column that's a product key and the product key. Okay, these are common columns in both the files here. Now, what are the name of the files? The name of the file is products file and name of the file is sales file here. So these are two different Excel files or it can be CSV files. In them, we have a product key, which is a common column. If you're an Excel user, you understand that you might use a VLOOKUP to get the answers. What I exactly want is two things I want. Number one, I want to find out which product color, how much is the quantity sold? Okay. My company production is waiting there. They are asking me which product should we first go for printing or preparing that thing. So I want to find out which product color, how much quantity is sold. Number one question. Second thing is bring this product price column in the below table here. Okay. Product price from the products table to the sales table. Why do I need that? Because quantity multiplied by price, I'll be getting the sales value here. Okay. So that's a total sales I'll be getting. So now if you want to do this activity, we have to create a VLOOKUP number one. VLOOKUP, you know, it's difficult in Excel. We need to remember the functions and parameters. 
Second thing is we also need to create a pivot table. Two things we need. Now we lookup can only be done within Excel to Excel. Now imagine if the data is kept into SQL, Excel, PDF, Oracle, any other data source, and you want to create relationship between them, Excel will not be able to help you that much. We need to bring the data inside Excel, change their data format and get the answer. Now, what we are going to do is number one, we will not open the file. Second thing, we will not try to change the data source. If it is Excel, let's keep it as Excel. If it is CSV, let's keep it as CSV. So right now what I'll do is remember the question, which product color, how much is the order quantity? Second thing is product price will come into this particular table. So right now I'll just close both the files. Second thing, if you observe here in this particular folder, the sales file is the CSV file comma separated value and the products file is the Excel workbook. These are two different data sets. Now I will bring both the files inside a blank Excel. This is the Excel file, data menu bar, get data from file from Excel workbook. If you are a Power BI user, you know what is a Power Query, how do you bring the data? If not, you can see the videos which I've recorded. Here, I'll just click on this Excel workbook and bring the first Excel file from the folder. Let me copy the path, Control C, get data from file from workbook and I'll bring the file which is the products file. So that's the products file, click on import. Now this file is already clean data, so I don't have to take to Power Query, clean, duplicate, blank records, nothing is required. Select the products table and here I can click on load to button inside Excel. Only create connection. Okay, I'll select the option as only create connection and I click on add to data model. This is important. Add to data model and click on OK. So what will happen is it is loading as a connection. It is not occupying the space inside this Excel and a connection is created. Secondly, it is storing the data in the data model. What is data model? I'll show you that thing. Same way from file from CSV. So I'll pick up that CSV. The second CSV was a comma separated value. Remember one Excel, one CSV and click on import. Now here, when I bring this data, I can click on this load to button and I can select only create connection and add to data model. These two options I have to select. Click on it. Now, if I want to show you at the back end, I can go to power pivot in this place and I can show you the manage data model. Okay. So in the power pivot tab, manage data model, and here, if you observe, we have these two sheets. One is the product sheet and one is the sales sheet over here. Though they are different data sources, but you cannot find the difference when you see the table here. They both look same. Okay. They both look exactly same here. So we are right now in the data view. And if I click on this diagram view, you can see the name of the columns and the tables. So on the right hand side, sales table. And on the left hand side, you can see the products table here. Now, if I want to create relationship, by the way, these two tables, if I kept, they are not data models. If you connect them using a common column, then it becomes data modeling. So product key should match with product key. Select this product key, drag and drop on the product key only. I repeat, drag this product key and you have to drop on the product key only. Do not drop on the other column, else you might not get the answer. When you do that, you can see one is to many relationship is created. Okay. By default, automatically, I have not done anything here. One is to many in the sense in the left hand side table, all are the unique values. Right hand side table, there are multiple or repeated values here. Okay, transactional table. What should I do of this? I can click on pivot table and this pivot table option and click on OK. So power pivot has been closed. Data modeling concept has been closed and you come inside Excel in the form of pivot table. If you remember the question, which product color and how much is the order quantity? So from the products table, I will just pick up the product color into rows. From the other table sales, I'll pick up the order quantity into values. That's it. Did I use VLOOKUP? No. Did I use the pivot table after doing all this? No. No VLOOKUP, no pivot table. Directly pivot table after data modeling. And I've got the answer. Now imagine two different data sources and I've just clubbed them and I got the answer. Let's try one more. So what would be the answer here? I can right click sort it in the largest to descending. So that's the largest one. So you see the black color is the highest selling color. The maximum order quantity for color is that is a black one 5062. So definitely I can give preference to black color. I can tell my team that start production for the black color here. And the lowest one is the white color. Don't go for the production of white color. It's not in demand. Okay. Same way. Now third table if I want to bring. Let me show you that folder. The territories folder here. You see the territories is a file kept into that folder. I can go to this Excel part here. 
data menu bar get data from file from csv now i want to bring the third file i have not opened the file i have not shown you what is the data there from csv and i can pick up the territories file from the folder click on import that's a csv file and i can click on load to button and add to data model only create connection click on ok so the file has been brought into this excel file it has not occupied space it's a connection now if i go back in the model view you see this place the connection is not done there okay i have to manually create a connection so carefully observe the column names are different here sales territory key and the territory key so i can drag and drop it on this territory key here now if you see this is one is to many one in the sense it has unique values many in the sense these are repeated values here now i can just close this and when i keep my cursor in the pivot table on this place i can just bring that pivot field list here now on the territories field carefully observe this two are in the bold that means we have utilized the fields from that table in the territories part i can pick up this region drag and drop into the columns okay region into the columns and you can see 45314 45314 is a value carefully observe we have brought three different files excel csv did not apply vlookup i don't have to remember the parameters and functions and everything just create relationship between them in the power pivot and then get the output in the pivot table now this is easier than we look up this is easier than microsoft excel okay if you carefully observe and understand that part now this is what you call power pivot inside excel okay now this add-in was present in our laptop from last 12 years 12 to 13 years i can say 2010 onwards excel 2010 this concept is there in excel but nobody knew it even i didn't knew it but when Power BI came into picture, then we started using that thing. Okay, let me show you that Power BI. Now, this is what you call Power BI. Here, on the left hand side, if you observe, these two options are what you call as Power Pivot. Okay, the second one is known as Data View. Third one is known as Relationship View. First one is known as Report View. Right now, if you see on the right hand side, there are no fields on the right hand side. Nothing, no columns are there. What I can do is I can bring the same three Excel files, Excel or CSV inside this Power BI. Get data, Excel workbook. I can pick up the first file, products file. Just select the sheet, which is the products. You see the load button. I don't have load to and load option, just load button directly. And here that particular products table would be loaded here. Same way I can click on get data, CSV file, and I can pick up the file, which is sales. It's a CSV comma separated values and click on open button. Now sales file, click on load button, it will be loaded. Now third file, get data CSP and I can pick up here the other files which is territories file and click on open load button here. So I can select that load button. So three same files I have loaded here. Now if suddenly a person walks in and he's asking you on your laptop if you're doing this practical, if they ask you, can you tell me which one is Excel, which one is CSV? You cannot tell them. Okay. If you see the icons which I've highlighted, they all are same icons. So Excel Power Pivot or Power BI Power Pivot never compares that you are Excel, you are Power BI or you are Tableau anything. They treat everyone as a query. Okay, just an example. I stay in Maharashtra in India. So if I go to the other part of the India, so people might call me North Indian. Okay, so some person from South India might come to this place. We might call them South Indian. But if we both together go outside India, we'll be called as Indians, right? No South Indian, no North Indian. Both will be called as Indians. So comparison is done within the product. Okay. But outside, if you go, they don't compare you. Same way, any data source which comes inside Power BI will be treated as a query. Okay. Not an Excel, not a CSV. So right now, all these three are what you call as queries. Here on the left hand side, if I show you the data view. Okay. This is what you call the data view. Okay. For the products, sales and territories. I can pick up any one. Here on the left hand side, that's what you call as model view. Okay, relationship view or the model view. Now it is very important because if you are appearing for a certification, they might ask you what is data view, what is relationship view and so on. Now, if you observe here, the products table and the sales table already have created relationship. I did not create it, right? I was just doing a practical. So why did it create it? Because the column names were exactly same. On the left hand side product key and on the right hand side also product key. When the column names are exactly same, relationship is automatically created between them. Okay, that is one thing you have to remember. But what if the column names are not same? Then you and me have a job, something to do in the company. 
then you can pick up this territory key drag and drop onto sales territory key and if you observe here then one is to many relationship would be created so remember whenever the column names are different then you can manually drag and drop into that place okay so this is what you call data model okay connecting different data sets together and making some sense out of that so i can pick up one column from here which is a product color i can pick up one column from here order quantity and which region it has been sold no we look up no writing sql queries just using button clicks so let's try to get the answer in the report view when i go to the report view okay this is the place which my manager will see they will not understand what effort i have taken at the back end they want just the output so in this visualization what i can do is i can click on this matrix option okay that's a matrix here from each table i'll pick up one column from the products table i'll pick up the product color into rows from the sales table i'll pick up here order quantity into values okay let me maximize this and then from the other table carefully observe there's a yellow tick mark which is given okay which tells you that you have utilized a column from that data set now from the territories table i can pick up this region drag and drop into the columns that's it so if you observe did i use any v lookup did i use some advanced functions no the name power pivot is very difficult if you see if you ask me which one you would like to learn excel or power pivot i will say excel excel is good but power pivot is easier than excel data modeling is easier than excel so it is the easiest thing which you can learn but the only thing is you have to you know properly understand and learn that part when i started i also was scared and afraid what would be data modeling but i think this is the best way to learn the data modeling part now carefully observe 45314 you might remember that number i have taken many times 45314 data has come from three different tables if i open the excel 45314 so now power pivot is same in excel and same inside power bi if you remember the thing which i told you naye packet mein beche cheez tumko purani okay in india we say them that when you have the new packet but the material inside is the old okay some companies outside do that work so naye packet mein beche cheez tumko purani so microsoft somewhere has done the same thing okay so power bi people think it's a new product completely new product but inside that power query is same thing power pivot is same thing and there are many features which are same only thing is we have never explored that particular topic inside power bi okay so this is what you call as data modeling inside power bi and this is done specifically inside power pivot tool so i hope you have understand this topic and that's all for this video